as promised, we got some snow. Now, the weatherman did tell us we were gonna get 24 inches of snow. However, I guesstimate we only got about 12. And I'm sure that's not the first time one man has lied to people about how much they're gonna get. But let's go measure. Now, my driveway is a little packed down because uh, I have been driving over it. It's been snowing for the past three days. And I've been at work, so I haven't been able to keep up on the driveway. So while the driveway looks beat down, we're gonna go to the table on my back deck and take a measurement. Actually, you could probably just do it off my deck. Let's see here, we'll go out to the corner. Oh, okay. About nine inches, just shy of it. That's probably after being, uh, what you call it, beat down and winded down and blown around and it is windy outside, it's mighty cold, and we are going to test out the tire chains. So last time I did this, I had a lot of uh, feedback, if you will, constructive criticism is another word for it, and I could take constructive criticism. A lot of people had said, hey, you shouldn't be piling snow over by your house, so I'm not going to. I do it every year, I've never had an issue, but since people tell me how to push my snow at my house, I'll listen to them. I'm gonna push everything towards the woods that's behind the tractor. I do have a ditch over there that runs all the way to the woods. I mean, it does make sense. So I guess this year we'll give it a try. Also, a lot of you had mentioned that I can't push across the road and that is correct. However, during that video, the roads were closed. No traffic can come on them. I was cleaning the road off for the county anyway in the area that I plowed across. No harm, no foul. So we're gonna bring everything up from the road and we're gonna pile it behind me over there in the woods. We're gonna see if these tire chains make a difference, what, if we need to make modifications to them, but we'll figure that out today. But uh, I have driven around a little bit. I stacked a little wood in the mud room, so they seem to do decent so far, but this will be the true test. find out when we get to this pile right here. Look at that. It pushes right through it. I would have never did that without these tire chains. Ooh. I don't know if you guys heard it though. I had so much traction. 
that it actually stalled the tractor out. So obviously the driveway's not done yet, but I mean, this was just a proof of concept. I wanted to make sure the tire chains worked and obviously they did. I didn't get stuck a single time. I don't know if you guys could see when I was talking about the back drag, but essentially you just tip the bucket all the way down and there's a second cutting edge on the front top side. Uh, I'd like to get one or make one. We'll see what happens. I had plans this summer to do that, but it just didn't happen. Life gets in the way and what do you know? Being that we only had about nine inches of snow, things did go quick. You know, I've got probably 75% of my driveway done already, and it's only been 15 minutes. You know, the snow pusher makes quick work of it. The chains not having to stop and actually having the power to push through it, it worked out pretty well. So if you guys haven't seen the DIY tire chain video, the ones that I've been talking about this entire time, I'll put a link up top for you. It's actually the last video that I just posted, so you should be able to find it fairly easy. I don't know, that's about it. I'm happy with them. I'm not happy with the giant gap. That's where the tire chains meet, but for being DIY, they work pretty well. If you guys have any questions about the chains, how I made them, what I did, I mean, you can check out the video or you can just leave a comment. If you guys did like this video and you wanna see more of this content, I mean, I do live in uh, Western New York. We get plenty of snow, so I'm sure there's going to be plenty of snow pushing to be had this winter. And don't forget to subscribe because only only 2% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed, which is, I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong or or if you guys just don't know, there's a subscribe button. I mean, there is. So it's, it's actually right below the video. You can just, it's one click. It's really, really fancy. Make sure you don't miss any of my videos. That's what it does for you. Anywho, until the next video, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay warm and stay safe.